There's Albertini. Rosey looking to link up with him. It goes further forward. And by Effenberg. Here's Rijkaard. Effenberg's tackle. Albertini. All the while Hullet was holding on the right-hand side. His cross is a deep one. And aim for Rijkaard. The clash of heads with Kanashali. Well, it was a concerted Milan attack. More of the same to come, I'm sure. Like wide by Riker. Kasotti. Massaro and Van Basten trying to get free in the centre. Kasotti clips it in, and Massaro got that. Well, he had an early opportunity before Fiorentina took the lead. He couldn't accept that one, but he's nudged the ball in here. And back on the ground, he knows so well. Massaro makes his mark, it's 1-1. He was ducking and darting in the middle for that type of cross. And Kasotti delivered it. Well, Milan were behind for some 12 minutes. Di Mauro, another of the newcomers here from Roma. Milan were forcing him to go across the pitch. And in the end, conceding the free kick. Antonioli, who has the job now ahead of Rossi. Is it going to be lined up for Effenberg? There's not much deception if that's the case. There is a bit of delay. And too much delay. Well, the card is displayed to Effenberg. And maybe for Laudrup as well. So they'll get on with it here. Effenberg off the wall, very nearly came for Bayano. But Stefan Effenberg, whose style of play, I'm sure pleasing Gigi Radici, tall, almost statuesque midfield man, with a kick like a mule in his three kicks. Bayano's corner, three header for Di Mauro, and uh, Perezzi saying that shouldn't have happened. There is an air of vulnerability that Pescara proves about Milan. Well, Massaro has made sure that one statistic continues here. Fiorentina have conceded at least one goal in every game they've played, which is rather like some of the gloss off their great work further forward. Laudrup and Effenberg, very much the architects of that. Bayano. Making space for himself rather easily against Perezzi. It was Karobi who'd come forward on the left-hand side. But that's the essence of Fiorentina. Passing the ball well, probing, and give pace in the attack. And he finish on this occasion. Right guard. Albertini. There is the marking in midfield. It's not existent. Fiorentina trying to defend very deep, but they've not done it. And Lentini is in for the second. You really can't let Milan dictate the tempo of a match as they were allowed to do as they built up that attack. Fiorentina stood off and even then didn't keep the opposition in their sights. And Lentini striding on, really unattended. 1-2 in Milan's favour here. 
but with two of their main men at the back out, Fiorentina clearly not quite able to cope. But I have to say that Milan can make a mockery of even regular defences. And how quickly again they've solved their difficulties. Fiorentina really starting on a burst here, getting a goal, fueling the local speculation that this team might be good enough to inflict the first defeat on the champions since May 1991. Well, they might still, but they're 2-1 down. Given away by Effenberg. Some uh, seeds of doubt shown in that and in the crowd's reaction as well. Here's Vega, who played for Milan as a 17-year-old. Well, Lavrat was lucky to get a second bite at it. Inside the final five minutes of the first half, Eckenberg's header. And look at the number of Fiorentina players who were forward then. A sprinkling of them offside, maybe. Certainly, uh, what, three of them as the header was made, maybe four, maybe five. Lentini. Milan looking to flex their muscles again. Came off Di Maro. And Bastin winning the tackle against Orlando. Robbie's header. Well, Hullet found by Rijkaard. Oh, and it's gone beyond the goalkeeper. And Ruud Hullet, who has been an important figure for Milan in his first half of league football this season. He embroiders his performance with a goal hit hard, it bounced just in front of the goalkeeper and that was really uh, the reason it got beyond Manini who got down but couldn't cope with the bounce and Milan now lead 3-1 and Fabio Capello relaxed enough to sit down on the bench after those uh, anxious glances and fidgets earlier in the half and Fiorentina were off to a flyer, but Milan showing signs of making the game, well, even safe before the break as they look for number four. A team of so many talents. And it's an honour just to be picked in it. So much competition in that respect. Laudra. Down goes Effenberg. Orlando just being told by the referee who's in charge. Bayano. And it's Duta who's scored four goals this season but in away games. Hasn't been in the picture too much here on his home ground. The Pullet certainly has. Asara's in the middle! No offside, Fiorentina think there might have been a case, Massaro was coming in at speed. And it's all going the way of the champions, who won't want this half to end. It's the timing when the ball leaves Hullet's foot, and you would say Massaro was at least level, but the fact that he was darting in there gave the impression that he been in an offside position, I rather doubt it. 